We've returned for part three. I'm currently out front with with a, an even seven thousand dollars. We got through eight clues in the double jeopardy round. Let's go with Briar Alerts for eight hundred. I'm currently yeah, leading. The clue is, by order summer lingers through this month in Camelot. September. I believe seven thousand dollars. Liz has been in the hole for a while, but Mike has gotten himself out of the hole. He has fourteen hundred. Yep. And it's a daily double and Broadway Lurks for a thousand? The answer is It is not. Song from Fiddle on the Roof that asks, Is this the little girl I carried? Sunrise Sunset. Yep. Uh, furniture for two. The answer is... Some cheaper woods are stained black to resemble this rare and expensive furniture wood. Ebony. I know I've had this clue before. This, cat these, this category as well. I should say. This category. Uh, furniture for four. The answer is... In Chinese decor, a ping is this ornamental device used for privacy. It's a screen. Yes. Furniture 600. The answer is... A big comfy upholstered chair of any period. Its name is far from difficult. Easy chair. Yep, ten thousand dollars now. Uh, furniture for eight. The answer is the ancient Egyptians came up with what's now the camp stool, a chair that can do this. Fold up. Yep, and let's finish it for a thousand. The answer is. With his 1925 Watchley chair, Marcel Brewer of the Bauhaus School introduced steel in this form. Tubular. Yep. Pulling away now. Uh, Westerns for 400. The answer is... The 1881 gun battle here took less than one minute in real life, but over five minutes on screen in 1957. The Alamo? No. First time I missed a clue in a while. The OK Corral. Oh, that's right. To be honest, I was kind of thinking the OK Corral after that. Languages for 400. And Liz finds one of the daily doubles. She has a hundred dollars, but she can risk up to a thousand, which is not, which I know she's going to do. Though Polish is a Slavic language, language and uses this alphabet, the Roman alphabet. So Liz will add a thousand dollars to her score, giving her eleven hundred dollars. Just giving her a little bit of life, but I doubt that she's going to catch me, let alone Mike. New England 400. The answer is... We'll see what happens, though. Newport was the co-capital of this state from 1854 to 1900. Rhode Island. Of course, uh... Mike and Liz have been kind of chasing their tails, so to speak, for the last few minutes. Uh, New England 600. And we find the other daily double. I have 11,800. I'll just go 1,800. It's the only New England state without a sea coast on the Atlantic Ocean. I'm 
thinking Connecticut. But it's not Connecticut, so I dropped down to 10,000. The correct answer is Vermont. That was kind of my next guess. New England 800. The answer is... On landing near Cape Cod in April of 1614, this founder of Virginia gave New England its name. Captain John Smith, of course, which spawned the popular Disney film Pocahontas. So that gets Liz up to 1900. Now it's medicine for 200. The answer is. In the 1890s, William Halstead introduced the wearing of these sterile surgical accessories rubber gloves. Yep. Uh, 400. Medicine. The answer is... QID on a prescription is a Latin abbreviation for Quetter and D. This take this many times a day. Four. Yep. Four times. 600. Medicine. The answer is... Not a medical student, by the way. I'm sure you all know that. People go to a beeping machine learn to control their blood pressure using this process. What is that called? Biofeedback. 2000 for Mike now. Language is 600. The answer is. At his 1969 investment at Carnarvon Castle, Prince Charles spoke these two languages. Uh, English and Welsh? Those are the two. Uh, languages for eight. The answer is... It's the official language of Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Papua New Guinea. English. Tally-ho! <laughs> Western's 800. The answer is... I just felt like saying that, by the way. 1992 blockbuster Western starring Clint Eastwood. Gonna have to get a clue soon. We're almost at the 10-minute mark. Unforgiven. But I think I got this one out of reach for sure. Medicine 800. The answer is... Encyclopedia Americana has an, says an infant has about 350 of these, but a typical adult only has 206. Bones. Okay, we have $4,000 clues remaining. Let's go for New England. The answer is... When the British tried to take back Connecticut's charter, it was hidden in this type of tree. Oak tree? It's an oak tree. Uh, medicine for a thousand. The answer is... A podiatrist treats these body parts. Feet. That's the feet, all right. We'll stop here for part three. See you guys for the last part.